Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I got an awesome little cooling kit for the Raspberry Pi 3 in the mail. This has the same dual fan heat sink I recently did a video on. I did some temp test using Raspbian. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see how cool it keeps your pie. Comes with an acrylic case, if you can call it a case, it's just the top and the bottom. It's got all the hardware you need, plus it has an inline micro USB power switch. Don't use this unless you turn your pie off first. It's $13.99 for this kit on Amazon, or you can get just the heatsink for about $10. bucks. i will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. In this video, I'm just going to be putting this case together with the heatsink. I've already done a video on thermal testing with this dual fan heatsink, so if you're interested, check that video out. It actually works pretty well, but there are ways to make it cool even better. As you can see, this kit does come with a little copper heat sink for your RAM chip on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. And I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 here, but this should work on a Raspberry Pi 2 also. I'm just going to line this up on the bottom piece of the acrylic. Now these are wrapped in like a paper sticker, so you need to take this off and it can be a pain sometime. Comes with these little spacers. This is what your Raspberry Pi is going to sit on top of. You're going to run a screw through the bottom of the case itself. Attach it to the Raspberry Pi using the included nuts. You'll need to pop these little acrylic pieces out for the bolt holes and everything, but it's pretty easy. Like I said, this is covered in a paper sticker and sometimes it can be a pain to get off, so just be patient with it. Went ahead and removed it. I'm not worried about these spacers. You can also remove the paper on there if you'd like to. So the spacers will sit on these middle holes here and your Raspberry Pi is gonna sit on top of those. You'll take a screw, run it through, Put your Raspberry Pi on it, grab a nut, and tighten it down. These just need to be hand tight. I would take a small screwdriver to the end of them. Do all four, and you're good to go. You don't need to tighten the first one up all the way. Get them all in, then tighten them up. Now that the Raspberry Pi is secured to the base plate using all four bolts, I'm going to grab this 3M thermal adhesive pad. Now this is a really cheap pad, but it does work. I suggest getting something a little better. These are Arctic pads up in the top right hand corner, but you really want to use some type of thermal pad because you don't want this shorting your board out. If you were to just put thermal paste on here, there is a chance that this heat sink would touch something else on the Pi and short the board out. The pad that comes with the heat sink does work, it does transfer heat, and it does keep your pie cool, but I suggest getting something a little higher quality. For me, I'm going to use it now because I don't have any of those pads in stock. I ordered some from Amazon earlier, I'm waiting. I'm just going to plop this on here, peel the other side off, and line it up on my Raspberry Pi. The heat sink will cover the CPU and the Ethernet chip. It does keep the pie pretty cool. Just will kind of want to line it up, give it a little squish, and you're good to go. We're going to plug this fan in right here. And now the heat sink is installed. Time to put the top half of the case on. So it's super easy to do this. Comes with all the hardware. We're going to grab one of these standoffs here. These are brass standoffs. And we're going to grab a shorter one. Now the shorter one's gonna go on the bottom. It's gonna act like feet on the case itself. We'll just screw this on here. Got a foot there. And we're gonna do all four. These standoffs only need to be hand tight. You don't wanna torque them down and break that acrylic. Throw the top on it. Now we're gonna put these crown nuts on. Hand tight, that's all you need. Put all four on and you're done. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's very plain, but it will stand out on your desk and it's gonna keep your Raspberry Pi very cool. This kit does come with an inline switch for your micro USB. I do not suggest turning off your Raspberry Pi until you shut it down with an emulation station or Raspbian, whatever operating system you're using, shut it down on the software first and then use this switch. So that's it for this video guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested on checking out some temperature readings with this dual fan heat sink, check out my other video. Links in the description and on screen now. Like always, thanks for watching.